Today will be the last and the final day of the Zen stories of the Zen philosophy. <laughs> 48 is gone. Today is the 49, the last a touch up. Buddha, according to a sutra, once said, Stop, stop, do not speak. The ultimate truth is not even to think. <laughs> Swami Vivekananda said, Stop not till the goal is reached. That doesn't mean stop, stop, doesn't mean you stop everything. You stop the foreign matter entering your mind, your heart and your body. Because once you allow that to enter your body, you forget the power of yours. You forget the thousand men warrior power, the roar of a thousand men warrior. Once you neglect your talent, and you don't express it up and put it into practice. Easiness gets dislocated and you become deceased. And nobody in the whole world can help you out. Hence, they said, stop, stop, because unnecessarily you speak for no reason. You speak when it is needed. Stop, stop, it says. Not stop your Sanskrit is your practice of your daily exercises to warming up the body, stretching up the body. Yes. And you find out that you are deeply involved in your household work. Not the pigeonhole apartments, mansions, which made you a, a prisoner without you being even being a criminal. Do not speak. Yes, that doesn't mean you should not speak. You should speak your talent. Buddha spoke nonstop for 40 years. Every saint spoke, spoke but they spoke from their, their talent, their experiences. Do not speak means do not speak the borrowed knowledge. Do not speak the bookish knowledge, but whatever has been taught in the schools and universities or in your working places. If you come back and put it into practice, then that spoken language, your every one action speaks volumes, they say. The ultimate truth is not even to think. Where is the thinking coming when you see your beloved? What do you think? You don't think anything, just an embrace, a kiss, a smile. In India, the Sanskritis, the Sija, elders, the Guru, just fall flat onto their foundation, the feet. And you can see the energy flowing from the elders into you. And you and that elder become one. You're not even thinking whether I should touch the feet or not. You're not even thinking whether I should embrace my wife or not. She's there, empress. The moment you stop that empress, you have become bookish. You are taking things for granted. The first step of your disease started. The ultimate truth is not even to, don't even think to hug and embrace your grandfather and grandmother, your father and mother, your children, your wife. Yes, embrace the tree. Talk to the person, embrace the wind. There you can find the truth. And the truth is all about stop not till the goal is reached. That is the goal, the ultimate goal of making sure take is in not to drop. Not to drop of your talent is left inside. Like the chef cow, they say, you, you take the milk, you milk it out, the last drop of the milk should be removed from the udder of the HF cup. Otherwise, the one drop which is behind will create diseases. One drop of your talent every day, if you leave it in your body, you don't sweat and sweat and sweat. The more you sweat, don't put on the fan the moment you start sweating. That is the ultimate truth. 